Now, there are a few things that you need to know about momentum, okay? Uh, of course, the very first thing is the definitions of momentum. Eh? The momentum of an object is the product of the mass and the velocities of the object. Okay, products. Eh? Uh, meaning, okay, meaning. Eh? Momentum. is equal to mass multiplied by uh, velocity okay so this is the definition set now in exam in exam if you are asked to give the definitions of momentum you can write this the momentum of an object is the product of the mass and the velocities of the object you can write this okay or you can give this momentum equal to mass multiplied by velocity okay if you write this you will get one mark if you write this you will also get one mark okay so it means that uh, for some definitions uh, for some definitions you can give it in a formula okay momentum equal to mass times velocity okay so that is the definitions of momentum uh, okay but you cannot give in symbol uh, okay you, if, you cannot give in symbol let me show you okay so this is the uh, formulas of momentum, okay? Momentum equal to mass times velocity. It, it, exactly the same thing, okay? Momentum equal to mass times velocity. But this is in symbol. P is momentum, M is mass, and V is velocity. But if they ask you to give definitions, you can give this, okay? In, in words, uh, momentum equal to mass times velocity. But you cannot give this. If you give P equal to MV, and then you will get no mark uh, for definitions, uh, for definitions, okay? So, uh, for momentum, you need to know the definitions, okay? You can either give this or give this, uh, if it is, you're asked to give the definitions of momentum in your exam. And this is the formula. This is for you to uh, do your calculations. Uh. P is a symbol for momentum, okay? Uh, the next thing that you need to know is uh, the types of quantity. Momentum is a vector quantity. It means that it has directions. This is very important, uh, okay? This is very important. Um, because if it moves in the opposite directions, then the, moment, the momentum becomes negative. So we have positive momentum and negative momentum. Negative momentum shows that the momentum are in opposite directions. So momentum is a vector quantity. And uh, the last one, momentum, the unit is kg meter per second. Kg is the unit of mass. And a meter per second is the unit of velocity. Because momentum is mass times velocity, right? So this is a unit of, ma of mass and this is a unit of velocity. Yeah? Okay, so uh, that's what you need to know about momentum. Eh? Example one. Eh? Example one. Uh, in your notes, in your notes, okay. Uh, okay, so this is example one. Okay, because sometimes eh, uh, some of you complain that uh, you just see the slide you don't know. Uh, which part we are discussing eh? okay so I'll show you the notes so in your notes we are discussing this example one and just now we discussed this eh? okay mm. example one okay uh, example one an object of mass 4 kg is moving with velocity 5 meter per second what is the momentum of the object now this one is simple this one is easy right okay um, for calculation questions eh, I always suggest that I always suggest to my students eh, okay Try to list down the information that you have with the correct symbol. For example, mass for kg. So write, okay, use the correct symbol. Uh, symbol for mass is m. m equal to 4. Uh, include the unit. Uh, m equal to 4 kg. Okay. Okay, velocity v equal to ms. Sorry, sorry. V equal to 5. Uh, 5 meter per second. Okay. And uh, what's the momentum? What's the momentum? Uh, symbol for momentum is P. Yeah? So P equal to what? Okay. So after listing down all the information given, uh, uh, then we try to write the the uh, equations or formulas that related to these questions. Okay. And just now we have learned that the formula for momentum is P equal to mv, right? Momentum, uh, P equal to mv. Yeah? Okay. And then we substitute m. m is 4 kg. 4 kg. Uh, v 
is 5 meter per second okay so therefore the momentum is 20 now uh, make sure that you write the unit okay for calculations uh, make sure that you write the unit 20 uh, the unit is kg ms to the power of negative 1 uh, that's how we solve these problems